Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A pickup from Toyota, the Hilux GRS 2.8 4x4 AT, and a compact sedan from Honda, the all-new Civic RS Turbo. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two compact SUVs, the Chevrolet Trailblazer versus the Mazda CX-30. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the installation and tuning of a uni chip. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the launch of Hyundai's all-new Creta and the all-new Staria as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Auto Focus, and we'll be right back after this short break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS, bring on the thrill. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven-seater in style. Kung ikay naghahanap ng truck na game sumabak, Travis ang asahan sa maraming haputan. Kayang Cargo, 1,660. Kayang Cargo, no problem sa delivery. Kayang Cargo, 1,660. Kayang Cargo, no problem sa delivery. Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis, ta-ta-ta-ta, Travis. Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis. Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Toyota. Among the models to join Toyota Motor Philippines' GRS lineup is the Hilux. Cargo checks out the Toyota Compact pickup given the Gazoo Racing treatment. Toyota Motor Philippines has grown a lineup of models inspired and or developed using what the Japanese car maker learned from its participation in the world of motorsports. This lineup carries the GR tag for Gazoo Racing, Toyota's motorsports division. Already, the local GR lineup includes the GR Supra and the GR Yaris. Toyota has also introduced models that have gotten the GR treatment. These include the Vios GRS, the Fortuner GRS, and the Hilux GRS. According to Toyota, rolling out the Hilux GRS is in line with Toyota Gazoo Racing's ambition to bring acceleration, the joy of driving, and sport performance to Toyotas, including the pickup truck. So what has the GR treatment given the Hilux GRS? The Hilux GRS looks both sleek and sporty, but at the same time, it exudes a tough and powerful presence on the road, taking up space that's 5,320mm long. 1,900mm wide and 1,850mm tall. There's not much to distinguish the GRS exterior from that of the other Hilux variants. It comes with the same B-beam LED headlamps and auto-leveling function, LED daylight running lights, LED front fog lamps, and LED rear combination lamp with line guide. However, the wide over fenders with black garnish are body colored in the Hilux GRS and the sports bar with LED deck lamp comes in gloss black color. Then there's the 18-inch GR design alloy wheels wrapped by 26560 R18 tires. The GRS also features a bed liner, intermittent windshield wipers with time adjust, hood lift and tailgate assist function, as well as outside rear view mirrors that power adjust and fold. There are more distinguishing features made to the GRS interior. 
most conspicuous is the suede and leather with red stitch upholstery for the seats. The driver's seat power just 8 waist, but the front passenger seat only adjusts 4 waist manually. The steering wheel gets the leather with red stitches and the GR emblem and comes in paddle shifters. It controls for the audio and phone and the 4.2-inch TFT multi-information display on the instrument panel on the dashboard. The Hilux GRS is also equipped with virtually all of the comfort and convenience features found in the Conquest, smart keyless entry and push start system, power windows with auto up and down function and with jam protect, speed sensing door locks, dual zone automatic air conditioning, cruise control, two 12 volt accessory outlets. As in the Hilux Conquest, the GRS also comes with an 8 inch display audio system with AM FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, smart device link, mirror cast, and six speakers. The Toyota Hilux GRS rolled out locally is powered by 2.8-liter four-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine with intercooler capable of generating 204 PS and 500 newton meters of torque. The engine is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission and a 4x4 drivetrain that comes with auto disconnect differential and differential lock. The Hilux GRS suspension was upgraded to make it even more capable of driving on the roughest of terrains. Monotube shock absorbers were used with the front double wishbones and rear leaf springs on the Hilux. The brake system was also upgraded by using the GR brake calipers on the front ventilated disc although the rear still got their basic drums. And like the all-new Hilux variants that the GRS comes standard with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist, as well as vehicle stability control and hill start assist. Like all Hilux Conquest variants, the Hilux GRS also comes with downhill assist control as well as a panoramic view camera and monitor that along with 6 clearance and back sonar sensors, 2 in the front and 4 in the rear, makes it a breeze to park the pickup. Also added for safety in the GRS are driver and front passenger side curtain shield and knee airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5 with pretension and a force limiter for the driver and front seat passenger, a child restraint system using ISOFIX and tether anchors, and the Toyota vehicle security system with immobilizer. The Toyota Hilux GRS comes with much of the bells and whistles that should make it deserve the Gazoo Racing Tag. Maybe we'll see some soon at the Philippine Rallycross Series that's making its return this year. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies Motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track, and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Over
over four glorious days, the 8th Philippine International Motor Show lured auto enthusiasts to the World Trade Center. 13 automotive brands showcased their latest and best models and offered units for testing at the Motor Show organized by the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines, Inc. They also presented their vision of the future of mobility through concepts and technological presentations in line with this year's theme, Mobility Plus Humanity, Innovating for the Common Good. Participating in the return of PIMS after four years are BMW, Cherry, Photon, Geely, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Kia, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Suzuki, and Toyota. Toyota served up a lineup of hybrid electric vehicles at the PIMS showcase at its booth within and as test drive units outside. Many took advantage to experience how HEV variants of the Camry, Corolla Altis, Corolla Cross, and RAV4 handle and drive. Also showcased are GR Series models of VSGRS, Fortuner GRS, which are also made available for test drives. Quite a popular draw was a newly launched all-new Light Ace, dressed up as the Light Ace FX van and Light Ace food truck, which Toyota dubs as Casosho Sasenso. Nissan also took the PIMS theme to heart, showcasing the Nissan Leaf and its V2L technology in an outdoor display. Drawing a lot of interest from visitors was the all-new Kix e-Power Nissan's take on hybrid powertrain that it sees as the perfect bridge or transition toward full electrics. Also taking center stage at the Nissan booth was the newly launched all-new Nissan Livina. Those who've been missing Rally Art variants in Mitsubishi's local lineup heartily welcomed the launch of the Rally Art editions of the new Strada and the Montero Sport. Highlighting Mitsubishi's strong legacy in the world of rallying is the Strada Rally Car, the Mitsubishi's official entry to the 27th Asia Cross Country Rally, a 2,000km cross-country rally happening in November. Taking center stage at the Kia booth is the EV6, the Korea brand's award-winning electric vehicle. Also on display are the Sorento midsize SUV, the Carnival Grand Utility Vehicle, the Saluto Subcompact Sedan, and the Stonic Style Edition Subcompact SUV. Few visitors can resist heading over to the Kia booth, drawn by the innovative Kia Interaction Motion Wall, a digital art installation that is triggered by motion sensors. One of the newer members of Campy rolled out the Ionic 5, a pure electric crossover utility vehicle. The rollout is a preview of sorts of the Ionic 5, dubbed the 2022 World Car of the Year, which Hyundai will be making available at local dealerships in January 2023. Also showcases newly launched Creta, Hyundai's newest subcompact crossover. Many PIMS visitors take advantage of the opportunity to test drive the Creta. BMW brought a number of representatives from its local lineup of vehicles to the PIMS, highlighted by the full electric BMW iX. In highlighting the BMW iX, the German premium automaker confirms its commitment to a green and more sustainable future. In the BMW booth, also is quite welcoming with a lounge, a play corner, and lifestyle merchandise area. Suzuki showcased its full local lineup, the all-new Solerio, Desire, XL7, Espresso, and Jimny at the PIMS. Test drive units of all five models were also available during all four days of the event. Suzuki also prepared a slew of hosted and self-facilitated games, including the Suzuki Wheel of Fortune and Suzuki Buzzwire Challenge. A Suzuki Safety Scout area was also prepared for kids brought to the PIMS by parents. It's a place where children can get to learn about road safety while still having fun. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. At the core of Toyota Gazoo Racing lies motorsports DNA. Combine that with the Philippines' best-selling sedan, you get the Vios GRS. Its black accent details and aero kit upgrade capture the feel and excitement on the track and the 10-speed CVT that exudes the TGR competitive spirit. On the road or on the track, always be ready for a heart-racing, exhilarating ride. The Vios GRS. Bring on the thrill. Transcend your business with the Isuzu Travis. Inquire now at any Isuzu dealership near you.
Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This edition of Head to Head pits the Chevrolet Trailblazer Premium against the Mazda CX-30 front-wheel drive sport in a spec sheet comparo. Saying the compact SUV segment is a super-saturated market can now be regarded as a cliché. There are just too many options in this segment. Still, buyers can narrow down options based on their budgets and what features they would like to find in their SUVs. In the upper ranks of the compact SUV segment are the Chevrolet Trailblazer Premier that is listed at 1,621,888 pesos and the Mazda CX-30 Sport listed at 1,790,000 pesos. The Chevrolet Trailblazer Premier is 4,408mm long, 2,052mm wide, and 1,656mm tall, with a 2,640mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 178mm. The CX-30 2.0L Sport is 4,395mm long, 1,795mm wide, and 1,540mm tall with a 2,655mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 180mm. The Trailblazer Premier comes with LED IntelliBeam headlamps and manual leveling, LED daylight running lights and LED fog maps, LED rear combination lights, roof rails, active grill shutters, rear skid plates, and thick lower body molding. Other exterior features include body-colored heated side view mirrors with integrated turn signals and power just in fold high-mount stop lamp, a rear spoil and roof antenna. The Trailblazer rides on 17-inch aluminum wheel strap by 225-60R17SL99HBW tires. The Mazda CX-30 Sport exterior features headlamps and adaptive front lighting system, rain-sensing wipers, side mirrors with power just in fold function, dual exhaust tailpipes and 18-inch alloy wheels, and 21555R18 tires. The Trailblazer comes standard with passive entry system, push button start, and heated seats in jet black leather like upholstery and herringbone pattern stitching. The driver's seat manually adjusts six ways, the front passenger four ways. The back row bench seat splits and folds 60 40. The heated leather wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for the multimedia system, audio, and cruise control. The instrument panel features circular analog speedometer and tachometer in a 3.5 inch monochrome multi information display for trip distance, fuel range, average fuel economy, eco drive assistance, as well as the tire pressure monitoring system and seat belts warnings for driver, passenger, and rear passengers. Other comfort and convenience features include power windows with anti pinch function, auto dimming rear view mirrors, power door locks, rear window defogger, sun visors with illumination, mirror and cover, as well as AC cabin pollen filter. The Premier also comes with air moisture sensor, automatic climate control system, and hands-free power liftgate with LED logo protection light. The Mazda CX-30 Sport features a smart keyless entry system and seats with black leather upholstery. The driver's seat manually adjusts 8 ways, and the front passenger's seat 6 ways. The rear seat splits 60-40 and comes with pull-down center armrest. The leather-wrapped 3 spokes steering wheel tilts and telescopes and comes with controls for audio, Bluetooth, and cruise control as well as paddle shifters. The instrument panel features large dials and a 7-inch LCD display. Other comfort and convenience features include dual-zone automatic climate control with rear ventilation, auto-dimming rear-view mirror, and power windows with one touch up and down function. The new Trailblazer arrived with a Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system that features an 8-inch touchscreen display and comes with Apple CarPlay, and with auto, Bluetooth, radio tuner, audio and video, on auxiliary and two USB ports as well as six speakers. The CX-30 infotainment system features an 8.8-inch display, Mazda Connect, two USB ports, Bluetooth connection, smart mirroring, and an 8-speaker Mazda harmonic acoustic system. The Chevy Trailblazer is powered by a 1.3-liter inline 3-cylinder DOHE turbocharged power plant that delivers 155 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 236 Nm of torque between 1,600 RPM and 4,000 RPM. This is mated to a 6-speed hydromatic VT40 continuously variable transmission that comes with multi-drive mode system. The suspension system features McPherson struts in front and torsion beams in the rear. 
The Trailblazer also comes with an all-wheel disc brake system, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. The CX-30 FWD Sport is powered by a naturally aspirated 1,998cc 4-cylinder engine that generates 154 PS and 200Nm of torque made into Mazda's Sky Active Drive 6-speed transmission with sport mode that drives the front wheels. The CX-30 suspension features McPherson struts on front wheels and portion beam in the rear. The brake system uses this on all four wheels, ventilated in the front and solid in the rear. The Trailblazer comes standard with cutting-edge driver assist and safety technologies and features that include forward collision alert, following distance indicator, automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian detection, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, rear park assist sensors with camera, and rear cross traffic alert, automatic emergency braking. Also comes with enhanced stability control that integrates anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, traction control system, electronic stability control, hill start assist, rollover protection, and cornering brake control, as well as reverse camera and rear parking sensors. Added for safety are three-point seat belts for all five occupants, six airbags, Isofix child seat anchorage, side door impact beams, a tire pressure monitoring system, and tire fill alert. The CX-30 comes with many safety and driver assist technologies that include anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, electric parking brake, auto brake hold, G vectoring control plus, dynamic stability control, and rear view cameras. Also equipped for safety or seat belts, front and side airbags for driver and front seat passenger, curtain and driver knee airbags, and child lock. Both the Chevrolet Trailblazer and the Mazda CX-30 offer a lot of the things buyers look for in compact SUVs. Which combination of features and price works best for you? Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. Can Hyundai revitalize the brand's repute and reach with the launch of Hyundai Motor Philippines and their fresh lineup led by the all-new Creta and the all-new Staria? Let's check out the highlights of the launch in this special feature. First of all, thank you for joining our media event. And so today we produce the SUV lineup. So from the Creta to uh, Santa Fe. I think this will be a good chance for uh, customer in the Philippine market. I heard that before the Saria, our Stratex was very famous model in the Philippine market. So our Stadia is a new model, almost uh, 10 years. And so this is a totally different new model. I think it's a, it's a Philippine customer, so we enjoy with our very high quality product. Mm -hmm. 
I already mentioned is uh, we have a full rider from the Creta to the Santa Fe. Santa Fe is a, has a very famous border. So globally, we cut so many hours. Santa Fe is now is a facilities border, but totally different. It's a very high quality, and there are so many features. I think I hope the so Philippine customer enjoy our product with their life. We have a plan. I already explained. So we have a schedule. Would you like to join in the Campimoto show and EV Summit EBOP in October? So through the, this event, so we would like to show our new model. Okay, just wait and you can see our new model. So we just started our operation from June 1st and our HMPH and our team Hyundai with our uh, dealer partners now is uh, having been uh, working hard to provide the excellent products and well prepared the dealer network. We will prepare the network for our customer. Please visit our dealers and please enjoy our product and like uh, innovate every day. So we will support the, our customer with a, a good product and good services. Thank you. Hyundai is generating some excitement in the market with its lineup as well as in the industry with its move to become an associate member of the Chamber of Automotive Manufacturers of the Philippines. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Suzuki El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. In this edition of Car Review, we take a look at the all-new Honda Civic RS Tour. Late last year and just in time for the traditional holiday rush for vehicle sales, Honda Cars Philippines unleashed the all-new Civic to join the Battle Royale in the compact sedan segment. Honda pulled no punches in rolling out the 11th generation Civic, offering an all-turbocharged lineup that already included one in RS trim. The all-new Civic at 4,678mm long, 1,802mm wide, and 1,415mm at its highest point is longer than its predecessor. It also has a 2,735mm long wheelbase and 134mm ground clearance. Honda says the new Civic with the longer hood and wider and lower stance has been designed to look both sporty and mature, elegant even. There is certainly some truth to that, especially in the top-of-the-line Civic RS Turbo CVT Honda Sensing. And if you like black exterior accents, then the Civic with RS trim is for you. 
It's got the body colored grille with the RS emblem, but with high gloss black door sash garnish and black door handles and black shark fin type antenna. Also black are the side door mirrors that power adjust and fold. The spoiler on the trunk has a high gloss black finish. Quite sporty in both looks, and yes, a function are the 235-40Z R1895 wide tire strap around 18-inch RS matte black alloy wheels. The Civic RS Turbo also comes in full LED headlights with black ring headlight extension, an auto on and off function, and auto off timer. Other exterior features include LED daylight running lights, LED fog lamps, auto rain sensing front wiper, rear windshield defog, LED high mount stop lamp, and tailpipe finisher. Only the Civic RS comes with smart keyless entry system, black leather with suede upholstery for the seats, leather wrap shift knob, 8-way power adjusting driver's seat, door panel ambient lighting, as well as the sport pedal. Also exclusive to the Civic RS Turbo is the instrument panel with a 10.2-inch full digital display that can be customized. The black interior trim with honeycomb is a nice touch, along with the ambient lighting. Adding to comfort and convenience are dual-zone air conditioning with rotary knobs and digital display and rear vents power windows and speed testing door locks, four cup holders and four bottle holders, and a 12 volt accessory outlet. Honda didn't scrimp on the Civic RS Turbo infotainment system with a 9 inch touchscreen display with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, built in navigation, Bluetooth hands free telephone connection, USB input, and a Bose 12 speaker sound system. The wireless charger adds a lot to convenience. All variants of the all-new Civic are powered by a 1,498cc 4-cylinder 16-valve DOHC VTEC turbo engine that maxes out at 178 PS and 240 Nm of torque. This is paired with a continuously variable transmission, sending power to the front wheels. The Civic has always had a reputation as a fun drive with good handling, comfortable on city streets, and fun on country switchbacks. Honda also has a reputation for innovation and safety. The all-new Civic is living up to these perceptions. It starts with getting a preferred comfortable driving position using the 8-way power adjustable seat and tilt and telescopic 3-spoke steering wheel. The steering wheel comes with controls for the audio, the multi-information display, and adaptive cruise control. One starts the engine using the one push start system. On the Civic RS Turbo, the driver has the option of driving on three modes, Econ which is best for driving in the city, Normal, and Sport which are fun for driving on open country roads. The paddle shifters on the steering wheel allow driver to have greater control over gear shifts, perfect for overtaking and on steep mountain roads. The suspension features front McPherson struts and multi-link system in the rear. All-wheel disc brakes, ventilated in front and solid in the rear, provide predictable and controlled stopping power. Honda has chosen to add Honda Sensing to all the variants of the Civic rolled out locally. It's certainly a mouthful using the complete official name of the variants, like the Civic RS Turbo CVT Honda Sensing. Honda Sensing is a suite of driver assist technologies that, in all locally available all new Civic variants, includes collision mitigating braking system, adaptive cruise control with low speed follow, lane keeping assist system, road departure mitigation system with lane departure warning, auto high beam, and lead car departure notification system. The Japanese car maker says the Honda Sensing system uses a singular monocular camera with a wider field of view that, combined with improved software, also offers better vehicle, motorcycle, bicycle, pedestrian, and road marking recognition. A multi view reverse camera with guidelines make parking a breeze. Standard in the all new Civic that already feature the G Con or G Force Control Collision Safety Body, our anti lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, vehicle stability assist, hill start assist. Child lock, Isofix child seat anchor, driver and front seat passenger airbag, side airbags, 3-point ELR seat belts for 5, and security, alarm, and immobilizer. The Civic RS Turbo is also equipped with side curtain airbags, lane watch camera, and walkaway auto door lock. All new Honda Civic RS Turbo CVT Honda Sensing should help the Civic regain the kind of popularity it had back when it was first launched in the country in the 90s. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia.
All right, today we'll be showing you how a Unichip is installed, how it is tuned, and what are the benefits of actually getting one installed in your car. And here we have a 2017 Toyota Vios with the latest dual VVTi engine that already has an intake and a header. So we're going to be installing Unichip next on this car to get more power. In a nutshell, what Unichip is, it's a computer that goes on top of the stock ECU and we're able to program this to give different commands to the ECU that says, okay, give us more fuel, give us less fuel, give us more spark plug timing, give us less spark plug timing, and among other things. More advanced features are we could use this to control additional injectors to supply a turbocharger, injector controllers for diesel engines, nitrous control, and sometimes also map switching. We can have up to five different maps for this one, such as if you want valet mode, total shutdown mode, immobilizer mode, and all of that. And this is where Unichip is installed. It's going to be installed very, very near the car's ECU, which in this case for the Vios, it's hidden behind the glove compartment. So it's eight wires to install. On most other cars nowadays, the computer box is usually found in the engine bay. Like if you have a Civic, you have a Jazz, you have a Focus. All the computer boxes are now found inside the engine and that's where Unichip will also be installed. So the way that we install it is we have to cut and splice a few wires. It's normally about eight. Those are power, ground, uh, throttle position, crank position, mass airflow sensor, among other things. So every joint we actually solder and then we shrink wrap and we tape over. So rest assured that nothing will get shorted, nor will it catch fire. That simply does not happen. This is a Unichip wiring diagram, only we have access to it, the official Unichip installer for the Philippines, which is us in Speed Lab. In the Unichip database, there are over a thousand cars that have diagrams for it. It ranges from something as old as a 1996 Corolla 4AFA engine to the latest Ranger Raptor, which we're going to be available in a few months. So it's basically eight wires here. These are the eight wires that connect to the Unichip, then these eight wires connect to the wiring harness of the ECU. It's, by the way, just the wiring harness, not the ECU itself. We don't open this up, we don't touch this, so that remains as is. A little bit of history about Unichip. This has been around actually for the better part of 25 years. The guy who invented it, Peter De Vert, is Dutch. He currently lives in South Africa. That's where he produces it. I think he gets a special government grant from the South African government for that one. And then it's actually exported all over the world. Uh, you can check it out on the internet, you can check out all the reviews, it's there. It's Unichip because it really is universal. We can use it for pretty much anything with an ECU. Gas, diesel, Chinese, European, American, Japanese, Korean cars. As long as it's an ECU, most likely we can install Unichip on it. So there are still certain cars like this Toyota Vios. You cannot remap the ECU. You cannot change the settings inside the ECU. So your only option for tuning is with the Unichip. All right, now uh, the Unichip is now connected to the ECU. For this particular car, we're using the Unichip Q4, which has an additional four wires to control the throttle because all cars now have electronic throttle. Uh, what this basically does is it equalizes the throttle opening because with all cars nowadays what happens is you step on the pedal this fast the throttle butterfly opens this fast that's the delay that everybody is complaining about with all modern cars you step on it like this it goes like this so what the unit chip does with the throttle control is it makes it one is to one you step on it fast it opens fast also so resulting in a mas malakas may bat na koche. So right now, it's connected to the ECU, everything's working, the car's running, the engine is running, uh, it revs fine, there are no check engine lights whatsoever, so that means that installation is done correctly and everything is working. Uh, with every unit chip installed, we actually put in a unique starting program depending on what the ECU is. Uh, in the unit chip database, there are over 100 starting programs for 100 different cars and 100 different vehicle models and makes and engines actually. So after this one, we're going to be putting the car on the dyno and we're going to be tuning it there to see what the final horsepower is. Uh, horsepower and torque, actually. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be putting it on now.
Okay, we're done with the tuning of the Vios here with the unit chip and this is the results. This red line here is the baseline power. This already has our colder intake and our headers. So it's about 91 horses, which is actually pretty good for a 1.3 car. For reference, 90 horses or so is the territory of about 1.5 cars like the Jazz and the 1.5 Vios. This blue line here is after tuning with the unit chip. So at peak power, we're at 100 horses, so it's almost 10 horses more at 6,000 RPM. But the biggest gain here is actually, if you look at the torque graph on this side, at the initial step, there's about 6 foot-pounds here. This is even bigger, it's about 8 foot-pounds. Then this dip here is another 8 foot-pounds. So, and this is at the very critical 1,800 to 3,500 area where most of your overtaking happens. So the end result is a faster car, more powerful, a lot more responsive, and drive normally. Given this, you should see about 8 to 10% better mileage. So that's basically the whole unit chip install and tuning process. As from start to finish, it took us about three hours total from wiring up the car to putting it on the dyno to tuning it to getting out of the dyno so it's probably less than half a day and, and you walk away with 10 horses on a 1.3 Vios for other cars say bigger engines like a 1.8 Civic it's anywhere from 12 to 15 horses more for turbo diesels we actually get 40 sometimes 50 horses more the best part is when you sell the car you can actually take the unit chip out Install it in whatever next car that you're going to purchase, be a gasoline car, diesel car, any brand, as long as it has an ECU. Your unit chip can be installed in that and can be tuned again, reused, make more power for your new car. That's our feature in Autopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your electronic automobile magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.